In today's project diary, I will teach you how to grow all kinds of herbs from cuttings. Hi and welcome to Project Diaries. Today I'm going to teach you how to take cuttings from herbs. Now this year I'm going to be growing lots of tomatoes, so the best companion plant for those is basil. Now it's only an annual, so it's only going to last for one year, but I've also got some mint here, and that's a perennial. That will come back every year. So I'm just going to teach you how to make some cuttings now. As you can see this mint plant's gone slightly leggy due to the fact it hasn't had enough sunlight over the past month or so but it'll be fine to take cuttings from today. This young basil plant is ideal for taking cuttings at the moment. Here's an example of an older plant that's coming to the end of its season and the stems are going really woody. You don't really want to take cuttings from here. To ensure a successful cutting every time use the younger greener stems. So get yourself a clean pair of scissors and find yourself a stem with three to four really nice leaves at the top. Now the average size for a cutting is around four inches but you can use anything between two and six inches if you prefer. Now this same technique for taking cuttings will work for almost every single herb plant. Once you have your cutting you just need to clip off the lower leaves and just clean off the stem. It's a good idea to take cuttings as you use them for cooking in order not to waste any leaves. Now you've cleared off the leaves and got yourself a perfect cutting, this next step is completely optional. It is advisable to use some hormone root powder in order to boost the root system when you're trying to grow these. Using this will speed up the rooting system by a couple of weeks. Just dip the cutting in the rooting powder and make sure the tip is covered well. Then just take the cutting and place it in a cup of water, making sure the stem is at least covered by halfway. I'm going to do exactly the same process using this mint from my food waste bin. Now this long stem should be able to get at least four cuttings. Now just place the cup on a warm windowsill and make sure it gets at least six hours sunlight a day. Between 7 and 10 days you should start seeing a small amount of root system starting to emerge. Two weeks in you should start seeing a really nice root system developing. Around the three week mark you should be able to see something similar to this. Now all you need to do is just take them out of the water and separate them gently. They should come apart really easy so try not to force them or break any of the roots. Perfect. Now get yourself a pot and make sure there's some drainage holes and using multi-purpose compost push a few holes into it and make sure the root system goes in gently. Then just press the soil in gently around the cutting to make sure it's stable. Now there's no real spacing requirements when it comes to growing herbs as you can grow so many in a small place so you can put three to four cuttings in one pot. Then just water it in gently. These may need watering between three to five days but keep an eye on the soil and make sure it doesn't dry out. There you go, all finished. Now just make sure this gets up to six hours sunlight a day. So I just want to apologize about the ending of this video. I completely forgot I started making the cuttings video at the early part of summer. Uh, so I haven't done a stage by stage or a roundup. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a quick idea. These, these are four or five different pots that I've done. Uh, these, these all have different varieties of mint. Uh, the basil's dying back because it's now getting a lot colder, um, coming into the end of November now. But there are still some young shoots on there that I can snip off and take inside. Uh, if you've got a windowsill that has uh, six to eight hours uh, worth of sunlight during the day, these are so easy to grow indoors. Um, that's the same with pretty much any herbs. Uh, you can start your own little herb garden inside, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to show you this one here that I've completely neglected. <laughs> it's gone crazy. This was another pot that I took from cuttings uh, and it's actually going into uh, the flower phase where once this is finished I can take the seeds from this and try and grow it from seed next year. But these cuttings work. Sorry about the motorbike. These cuttings work so well, uh, it's one of the easiest things you can do in a garden and you get such great uh, rewards from it. These smell absolutely fantastic and I'm going to use them in tonight's dinner. So uh, hopefully this has given you the confidence and good ideas on how to take cuttings from herbs. 
Um, so good luck trying your own, and I'll see you again next time. Oh, and a big thank you to the 1,200 plus people that have subscribed to my channel since my last video. I can't believe how successful uh, things are going at the moment, and I just love making these videos for you guys. So, uh, take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date on all of my future releases. Here are some links to some of my other videos, and if you've been inspired or tried any of my previous projects, I'd love to see your progress. Please post some photos in my Facebook gardening group in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.